Helmets Off brought to you by WCF Insurance is now on. And of course, my beloved Utah Jazz aren't. They are way off. I mean, they are so off. They're on the verge of elimination. Most of it, I don't want to blame on anyone, but it's uh, the only guy not playing is Ricky Rubio, and he's had an injury. And you can just tell that this Utah Jazz team is not the same. He's been the catalyst. He's kind of the guy that makes everything go. He's a great passer, great dribble penetrator. But the thing that's been such a surprise for everyone is he's, he's been able to score those mid-range jump shots. He's hit big threes, and he's really been the, 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 the stick that stirs the drink for the Utah Jazz. And their drink is so flat right now. It's sad. And it got me thinking about other sports and how there have been injuries that have impacted teams. Unfortunately for the Utah Jazz, it's been a poor impact, but other teams, not so much. Case in point, Lou Gehrig started his career because Wally Pipp decided to get a headache. Yes, a headache. He sat out a game and in came Lou Gehrig and Lou Gehrig never looked back and played more consecutive games than anyone ever in baseball history until recently when it was broken by Cal Ripken. So don't get a headache or along comes Lou Gehrig. All right, another one which is kind of close to me because it's my beloved Miami Dolphins, the team I played for for a few years. And uh, of course, they had a season like none other. Uh, they are the only team ever in NFL modern day history to go undefeated. And ironically, early on in the season, their Hall of Fame quarterback, Bob Greasy, gets injured and along comes journeyman Earl Morrill and Earl Morrill leads the team all the way through the playoffs in fact all the way into the Super Bowl and then he's not playing very well and in comes a guy named Bob Greasy who actually had broken his leg comes back late in the year and leads the Dolphins at the very end of the season to victory and to the only undefeated season in NFL history and it all started because Bob Greasy broke his leg. Well, I got another one for you, and of course, this is uh, one that we're all very familiar with, and that's Tom Brady. Would Tom Brady have ever seen the field if uh, Drew Bledsoe decided he was going to be Macho Man and run right into the middle of Mo Lewis and uh, end up in the, the hospital with like a lacerated kidney and broken rib bones? Dude, duck, slide, don't take on those linebackers. I'm telling you from experience, they are trained assassins. Anyways, in comes Tom Brady, unheralded from Michigan. And now Tom Brady is considered probably one of the greatest players of all time in NFL history. Been amazing, been amazing, and he continues to be amazing. And it's all because of these injuries. They're so, so fascinating how injuries can change the fortunes of sports programs and teams in such dramatic fashion. Helmets Off is now off. You can text Helmets to 65537. Go to all those social sites down there. Be smart. Dial us in on your smartphone. Until then, we will catch you soon.